what's good y'all today i'm gonna show you guys how i make sofrito now just so you guys know straight off the bat this is not an original recipe i found this online quite some time ago and i've just been making it ever since the exact same way because it's bomb so what i have is one pound of garlic one large red bell pepper one large green bell pepper one large sweet onion one large yellow onion a bundle of culantro a bundle of cilantro and then i have one pound of arisito peppers which are sweet bell peppers excuse me if i pronounce that wrong but that's essentially everything that you need so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to carefully inspect all of these peppers taking off all of the stems and then i'm going to give them a little wash i'm adding in some white vinegar just so that i can make sure you know i'm kind of cleaning everything off because again you want to make sure that you're using as much organic products as possible and, you know, getting rid of any pesticides, any potential bugs. Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? So I'm just giving all of this a good rinsing down and then drain it off. And just to make sure that none of that vinegar taste is lingering around, just give it a little extra rinsing. And then because I want it to be a particular texture, I don't like to rush this process. So what I'm doing right now is I'm breaking down that large sweet onion and the large yellow onion, and I'm going to actually do everything individually. So I'm gonna do the onions by themselves, the peppers by themselves, the herbs by themselves, because for me, I actually prefer for my sofrito to have a little bit of texture to it. Reason being, as soon as you start to cook it, it's already gonna naturally break down as is. So to me, I find that if you make it too liquidy and too thin to begin with, then it kind of just, I don't know, I just feel like it just doesn't serve the purpose. So I like mine to be a little bit on the chunkier side, but you of course can blend yours down to whatever way you want to be quite honest. It doesn't really matter. And honestly, now that I have everything all completely blended down right to the texture that I like, I'm just gonna give this a good mix and now I'm gonna store it away. Now you can keep it fresh and use it up, but as you can see, this is a lot of sofrito. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some in this container because of a few more recipes I'm gonna cook it with, but whatever I have left, I'm gonna put in ice trays, freeze it so that I can use two to three cubes at a time, and then I'm good to go. Enjoy, bye.